Well, mate, thank you so much for chatting to us today. And I've got to say, I've taken a listen to the brand new single and taken a look at the video, and, and congratulations on what you guys have been able to do. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, thanks for those kind words. We're really proud of uh, what you put out. Not a problem, mate. Now, start off by telling us a little bit about Clouder and how the band came about, because I understood it all started at uni for you guys. Yeah, well, um, I went to uni with uh, Luke's older brother uh, and another classmate of ours. We all got together to make a song. And uh, that song had just happened to be a, the very first version of Stars and Clouds, which is our recent single. Okay. Um, as we went through that uh, process, we got the assignment done, whatever. And then I asked Luke to uh, start a band, and he agreed. The next few years was, um, you know, finding the people and writing and recording and rehearsing. Uh, that brings us to uh, January this year. We played our first show in Glebe, and it's been uh, pretty good so far. So a lot of people talk about the fact that there's a very heavy 90s influence with the sound of the band. What kind of music did you guys grow up listening to, and what were those influences? Um, I suppose uh, what I grew up listening to versus uh, what the influences of the band are a bit, a bit different. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of my, my dad's records, so uh, early Pink Floyd and the Beatles and uh, a lot of those classic bands. And then as I grew older, I discovered the 90s sound. Um, but the band has been mostly influenced by uh, uh, West Coast US bands like Duster, uh, Idaho, um, Low. And uh, some of those bands, and yeah, some uh, local local bands like uh, Purpleine, who have been, well, they've, they've recently came back to do a reunion tour, but they were part of this early OOS uh, Australian kind of indie emo scene, and yeah. that was that's another scene that I, I really was di- was digging in the past few years. Okay, so talk us through a little bit about the recording process for Stars and Clouds. You talked about the fact that it was one of the first songs that you guys put together, but tell us a little bit about the recording process, and have you guys been getting together to record for an EP or an album at all? So the recording process started in uh, January last year. Uh, We did drums at uh, Deaf Wolf Studios. Uh, Dan, who owns the studios, has always been very good to me. I interned with him for a bit. Uh, I did the drums there because I wanted that studio drum sound, but it big and punchy and uh, a lot of room. Um, I did all the recording myself. The bass was done at my old uni. Um, very simply, straight in, just track it. Uh, guitars was all done in my bedroom, so I had everything set up, and I used my parents, about a couple of years ago, my parents' living room as a control room, and had you know a mess of cables going in and out of my bedroom. Um... I think I even slept on the couch. I just couldn't couldn't fit myself in my bedroom after that. Uh, did my vocals in my cupboard at home, um, and then gave the gave all that content to Fletcher Matthews to mix, and he passed it on to mastering. Yeah, awesome. So, are you guys also working on an EP or an album now, or is this, for now it's just a single? Um, well, we we did have five songs which we intended to release as an EP, uh, but. Uh, through discussion, we decided we'll just release the three singles of the past year, which we've now done. We've scrapped a couple of those songs, and we're looking to start recording, hopefully, a new batch of songs uh, in about February, March, to start the recording process again. Uh, whether it'll be an EP or singles is yet to be determined. Yeah. So you've got the single launch coming up on December 20th. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect from a cloud of show. Well, um, we wanted to take a different approach uh, with this one. I've teamed up with uh, Josh McBeath from uh, Library Group Records. He's become uh, quite a good friend of mine uh, now. We decided that we, as opposed to just getting, you know, some some bands in a in a bar or a pub, we decided to sort of make a night out of it. So we've got some uh, people I've met over the year, plus some um, bands that I really like. We've put on uh, a show of sort of how would you say modern Australian alternatives. Yeah. Um, I've also got my friend Michael Shippen who did the music video for Stars and Clouds, he's going to be uh, making a little slideshow of his own personal work, which will be on the projectors in between the bands. Um, and, yeah, I just want to kind of encourage a bit more of like an art night. There'll be projections from the bands, or sorry, we'll all have projections, projections behind us of whatever material um, to make it feel more like an art installation rather than just a bunch of bands. 
Yeah. Where did that idea come from? Because that's something that I've always thought um, is such an amazing thing. I remember a few years ago, I went and saw um, some of the guys from Ultravox do um, solo shows, and they did the same thing, where they like had the music playing, but also had an art installation running behind them as well. Where did that idea come from for you guys? Um, I suppose, uh, originally I just wanted to offer Michael, my friend, uh, just an outlet to, not only, because well, you guys you know, have many followers on Instagram, but I thought you needed know, to have him as a as more of a, a thank you to, for his work over the past year to give him the opportunity. And then from that, I was like, oh, you know what? The Oxford Arts Factory Gallery has like a few projectors. We could also do this and this, and Josh really liked that idea as well. Okay, awesome. So tell us a little bit about what you guys have got planned for 2020. Like, are you looking to maybe tour a little bit further? What are those plans for next year? So next year, I think uh, the goals will be to release another batch of songs. So ideally, at least an EP by the end of the year would be uh, my goal, plus to two of the East Coast. We've got a couple of dates in early January. One's up, uh, up north in New South Wales and uh, another one in Sydney. Um, one's Byron Bay, actually, in Sydney. Awesome. And from there, I think we'll probably hibernate a bit for recording and rehearsal to come back strong with some more material, play a few more shows to get those songs road ready and get the EP out, hopefully. Yeah, cool. Now, for people in Sydney, where can they go to grab tickets for the show? And for people outside of Sydney, where can they go to grab a copy of Stars and Clouds? So if you would like to get tickets to the Oxford Arts Factory Gallery Bar show, you can go to Mosh Ticks or even go to our Facebook page. We have the event up on our Facebook. There's a little link there. It'll take you to the portal. Um, tickets are $12.50 online. It'll be 15 bucks on the door, so save us all that 250 get it online. If you'd like to listen to our material, we're up on Spotify, uh, Bandcamp, and YouTube. Awesome, mate. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us today. It's been an absolute pleasure, and we hope that um, a lot of our listeners out there will head along to, to check out the show, but also go out and grab a copy of the single as well. Thank you very much for having me. It has been a pleasure talking to you, and yes, I do hope for the best. Awesome, mate. Well, thank you so much for that, and hopefully we get to talk again next year when you've got some new stuff coming out as well. Absolutely. All right, mate. You have a great night. See ya. See ya. Bye.